Hey guys, what's going on? Corey here. And I was going to record some more Kingdom today and try to finish it up so that I could be done with it and make room for more things on the channel. A couple more games that I don't think have actually been released on my channel yet that I have uploaded already. And they're games that, I, that I'm really enjoying, such as The Long Dark which is just basically like a sandbox survival and we're waiting for the story mode on that which I think is coming out this September but it's still a lot of fun to play and I've been kind of addicted to it lately so I want to make room for that I've got another one that I just found that was free to play called Magic Duels that's gonna be coming up on I think Saturdays I'm gonna to try to do four videos a week coming up we'll see how that works because if I have something like that 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 I can record and spend a minimal a minimal amount of time editing, I can get them up faster um, and maybe be able to do four videos a week. Which I'm gonna try it out, see how it works for me. But the point of this video is I went on to Kingdom to record episode four, I believe, of my solo playthrough, and there has been like a massive update to the game, which killed my old game. My, my save is gone. So I don't know what to do, I guess. I, I don't believe that there is anybody that watches my channel that is watching it you know specifically waiting for another kingdom video to come out so i thought i would just do this kind of patch notes uh update video here and tell you about some of the new things that have come out in it and if any of you really do want to see the new things i will do another video or maybe another playthrough of it we'll see how how it goes um but uh, so we're at version 1.2.0 and they've changed a lot of things. All characters can now run, which they did not before. They were super slow and it took them forever to get anywhere. They will run if they need a job, need to get to a job, or run away if they are threatened by enemies. The AI has, has had a complete overhaul. It should process much faster and with less glitches. This means games run significantly smoother under most conditions even late in the game when many enemies show up. Uh, on my next video, I think, uh, well, it, it'll be up before you see this, but I think it's episode three of my solo playthrough. We had some hardcore frame rate problems when we had a lot of monsters and, and people at the same time. So that is better. Uh, new menu, which I saw when I tried to get into the game. Uh, collision resolution has been improved to decrease lag with many coins. Saving by quitting the game is possible at night and in combat. I didn't know that wasn't a thing. Borders aren't moved while a wall is under construction. This means archers will stay in position while walls are upgraded. That's something that if, if all your archers were out at your wall and you tried to upgrade it, they would go back to your last wall until the wall was completed, then it would come back out. So that's kind of cool, so if you upgraded a wall too late at night and enemies started coming in before your wall was done, you'll have archers there. Knights will retreat to an intact wall if the outer wall takes too much damage. Now that's kind of cool, um, as long as they can get there soon enough uh, so that they can defend the next wall and they don't just get killed right away. Knights attack procedure makes them more consistent. Consistency is good. <laughs> Overhaul for the boss monster. See, I don't know exactly what the boss monster is. Um, I'm guessing it's some of the bigger guys, like the flyers, the, the the giants, maybe. Many many fixes for bugs for from the forums. So, but anyway, they it, this is cool that these guys read the forums uh, from people like us to see what can be fixed in their game. So that's really cool. New faster horses. That is awesome. That horse. <laughs> <laughs> will piss you off because it loses stamina and gets and you can't run but that's really cool that's that's gonna be a game changer right there changes enemy boulders damage maximum of five citizens instead of all of them <laughs> many archers always run when redistributing okay so like say you lose a bunch of guys on one side and your archers will run to that side to redistribute that's that's cool Portal stay closed longer before spawning. Okay. Workers won't work on, on things too close to a spawner. So if you try to put a wall right next to a, a portal, they won't work on it. Deer are no longer scared of unarmed citizens. Final wave no longer increases in difficulty before day 100. 
and is no longer easier before day 30. Never got that far. I think I, Laura and I beat it on 40 something, day 40 something last time. Adjusted enemies to bit a bit more. <laughs> Adjusted enemies to bit a bit more threatening for earlier, day 20 and earlier. Uh, I, I'm guessing that means, oh, on the blood moons. So your blood moons are going to be a little bit harder up to day 20, I think. Reduced flyers in several waves and delayed their introduction to a later blood moon event. So flyers are a little further out. Only during the blood moon when players encounter the breeder is it alone. Oh, the breeder? Okay, that's something I've never seen before. Maybe that might be something new. Maybe that's what they're talking about here. The boss monster? Or maybe I just didn't get far enough in the game, like enough days to see it? I've never seen that before. Slight tweaks for portal collapse waves. So there's a whole bunch of fixes also, which is good. We always love to see fixes. The update is live right now, so jump in. Let us know what you think. I can go back to the old version, but I don't know that that's going to restore my saved game. So again, you guys let me know uh, if there's anybody that specifically wants to see Kingdom. I guess specifically wants me to finish my solo playthrough. I will go back to this old version and see if I can get it back. But if not, then I'm not going to bother with my game anymore. It's just going to be gone. Uh, also, if any of you want to specifically see these new updates, let me know and I'll make a few videos on it. Uh, but other than that, I might play it in my spare time to check it out. Maybe Laura and I will play it again together. But uh, unless you guys say that this is what you want to see, I think that we're going to be done with Kingdom. Unless, you know, something I mean, you know, <laughs> down the road, something super amazing comes out for it. But uh, I just wanted to make this video, at least if for nothing else, to explain to you why I'm not going to continue the solo playthrough series I was doing unless you guys want to see it. So uh, I'm not going to put this video out on one of my normal video days and uh, not have, you know, a, a real video come out. This is going to be on an off day, a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, one of those days. So it'll just be like a little extra update video for you. So anyway, that's what's going on with Kingdom. If you guys want to see more, definitely let me know. If not, we're going to leave Kingdom right here. We're going to move on to some other stuff. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Later.